I'm Nathan Judd, and I'm going to be running the Bighorn 100. Figured I'd go ahead and check in. It's pretty spread out now, so I don't feel too weird talking to a camera. It's beautiful out here. The videos don't do this thing justice. But uh, a little over 6.2 in, and uh, average pace is 17.42. Um, I'm very happy with that, actually. I'm not pushing too hard. It's hard to keep the heart rate low on this. It is a big climb, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good, and it did start out high. But uh, now that we're getting up here, it's not too bad. Weather's not too bad, heat. And uh, almost two hours in. So Andy Jones Wilkins not far behind me. Talked to him for a while. Let's see if we can get a, to show you what's in front of me. Oh yeah, just beautiful. This has been the view for over six miles now. Just these beautiful, meadows in the middle of this canyon but it, it just keeps going up somehow i may be wrong but i think i see some snow up there so there you go all right cool talk to you later ah so caught up caught up to somebody how you feeling man Good. yeah Terrible scenery, huh? Weather's awful. Yeah. yeah. David, I'm good. Uh, we are currently about 10 and a third into the race. Uh, three hours in. Yeah, not bad. Right where we need to be, I think. It's a beautiful day. Figured I would do a check-in. Uh, this is really hard. I'm about 20 miles in, and uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm dehydrated, or I don't know if it's being up high. I mean, we got up to almost 8,000 feet at one point. <coughs> I don't know if it's the climbing, because I haven't been able to train for the climbing really well. I don't know. But this is hard. Uh, about five hours and 15 minutes in. Still moving forward. I will tell you, this is a beautiful place to suffer. I've never seen a course like this one. <laughs> it's is beautiful. I mean, from the time I stepped foot on the course, everything, beautiful. Even this, it's got these um, forest sections that I've come into, and they are really cool too. Um, in their own way but what's got me concerned is i have been reduced to a walk i don't know what's going on my legs just won't move and um i'm basically like doing between 20 and 25 minute miles right now and that wouldn't be that big a deal later in the race whatever but uh <coughs> it's it's uh I'm 22 miles in <laughs> so i don't know um doing what I can, trying to stay positive, keep my head in the game, but uh, I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, if it doesn't work out, it is a beautiful place to get a DNF. Beautiful, man. So, we'll see. Ooh. All right. Yep, we're uh, 25 and a half in, feeling a little bit better. I was really struggling back there, but feeling a little better. But look at that view, look at that view. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Doesn't get much better than that. That was short-lived. 
<laughs> so bad. It's so bad. I'm glad I'm. <coughs> I'm glad I'm able to have a positive attitude when I do this stuff. Cause, uh, oh, I want to keep moving. I can barely walk. All right, so I'm out of Sally's footbridge. It's starting to get a little darker. I was thinking it was gonna be real hot down here. It's not too bad, actually. Um, took my time there, tried to get myself together. Feel a little better, we'll see what happens. Got about 18 miles of climbing <laughs> ahead of me. Like, pretty much non-stop climbing, is my understanding. Um, so I'm sitting at 4,700 feet in elevation right now. We're gonna climb up to 9,000 feet in 18 miles. Um, average pace is 1728, and we'll see what happens. Um, I may be fighting cutoffs by the end of this thing if I'm able to stay in it, but I'm still fighting. Sometimes you stay in the fight and get rewarded. Look at this. This may be my last check-in for a while. Uh, still going, obviously. Um, but I am now like 33 and a half in or something like that. Went through another aid station. It's gonna be dark pretty soon, so I don't think there's gonna be a lot to tell other than it's just climbing for a while. But I don't know if you can see that down there. Look at that. I mean, everything is just beautiful out here. I mean, I cannot recommend this race highly enough. However this works out for me, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. So, having fun, even though it's hard. <clears throat> and I'll check up with you later. Hopefully at Jaws, which is mile 48. It's the turnaround in the race. Top of the climb. I have linked up with Kyle Grady. We're both feeling great, right Kyle? Oh yeah, fantastic. So, we're both on the puke train. You wanna get a good one on camera? Good job, bud. All right, tandem puke. <laughs> anyway, it's hard to time that on camera, but uh, yeah, it's not a pretty sight out here. We're trying to work our way to Jaws. A few more miles to go. All right, I made it to Jaws. I feel miserable, but I'm trying to tell myself it's downhill. Uh, cutoffs are. I've never had to worry about cutoffs He's totally in a long time. Do it. <laughs> oh, this thing is hard. Got to top myself out of this aid station. So I'm getting treated to what looks to be a pretty beautiful sunrise. I pressed on out of Jaws into the 18 mile abyss where you cannot drop. Uh, so I'm really proud of myself for that. So I did press on. Um, I'm trying to get to this next aid station. I've got two more before footbridge. Here's the bad news. I am going to miss cutoffs. There's no way around it. I'm proud of myself for pressing on when I knew I was going to get trapped in this section or that it was possible but uh anyway that's it happens what a fun day though I mean yes misery hard but uh I 
still enjoyed it. My legs just weren't ready. I wasn't able to put in the training I wanted to. I tried, did everything I could, I really did. I got no regrets on this one. I did everything I could to get ready for this with, <coughs> excuse me, with the time frame I had and the family commitments I had. So anyway, just taking it for what it is, a very, very fun time in the mountains and maybe the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen. So there you go. Well, it's official. Uh, I gotta lay down and get myself taken care of. Got a blister, guys working on it. Um, so, not a bad place to DNF though. Sunrise, beautiful sky. All this going on. Yep, not bad. And now I still gotta hike out. <laughs>